there. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, people? I'm back in the building again. Mr. Warmack is giving me another diatribe. And uh, as always, I'm in the building. And today I'm going to talk about a topic I'm kind of getting sick of seeing on YouTube. I see it a lot. Like I said, I watch different people's videos. This video, just because I don't say names, I do say names in comments, but I just don't say my name, the names in the videos because people kind of get a little touchy when you do. But you know, I, I have recommended in the videos and watch other videos. I have recommended people, so it ain't nothing about me not afraid of saying names. It's the point of it ties in with this video is why I don't say names. And the video is uh, I really don't like to deal with a lot of you dudes. Because a lot of you dudes have a single, were raised by single mothers and had no male influence. And this is why I don't really like to deal with you guys. Because my point is, I'm dealing with your moms, and in some cases, grandma is raising you guys. So I'm already dealing with that, because I'm single right now and I have, to deal with, I have to deal with those issues. So when I come on here, I don't feel like hearing you guys just crying and whining. I don't feel like hearing you guys when someone makes a video, you know, right or wrong with their video. I don't feel like hearing like 20 guys making videos about that because they don't like that person. Like if you can, if you can, how can I put it? If you can uh, expose what they're saying as a lie, I can respect that and make a video. But I've seen recently there was a skirmish on YouTube between two gentlemen, and what got me was. Instead of like, you know, they were in it and that's their business. I saw sideline motherfuckers and I, women and men, so people on the sidelines making their comments and their videos. Now, I know there's certain people, like if, if the entertainment's your thing or this or that, you can make the video. But there was a lot of people who were just taking advantage of getting some views off of other people getting at it. And that's why I don't respect a lot of people on it because that's all they did. Now they'll make, they'll have their excuse, but at the end of the day, that's what happened. Now back to the topic at hand. A lot of these dudes will come on here, they'll cry and whine to me, they'll, they'll have the same emotions, and here's what they do, especially on the internet. The internet allows you to do this. Real life won't allow you to do this. But they, especially on, like on Facebook and Twitter. Well, Twitter's a different story. You, you expect bullshit on Twitter. But on Facebook, you dudes get exposed, and like on YouTube, you show your asses off. And only, only dudes that like went around men and dealt with men when they were younger, and all the way up even now, know what I'm talking about. They come on Facebook, and you have a disagreement. They want to cry and whine to you. Then when they can't, when they see that you ain't gonna go their way, they want to call you names. And then when that don't work, they want to say you're a bitch, you're a seller, you're this, you're that. They're following the exact same pattern. Some of you guys know as their moms. Say you and her moms get into it. She wants to beef with you. What she do? She calls you names. And then what they do, they go around with the little bitch posse the same way these women do. They'll go around with their friends and try to run your name into the ground. And see, that's why I don't respect a lot of you guys on here. Because I, 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 I can tell off the bat, once I watch your video, once I see a couple of videos and see your comments, I'm like, this dude wears a skirt. Not literally, but that's what we call guys like you. And I, I'm mad at the fact is you have no male, there have probably been male influences around you, but you didn't care to pay attention because you wanna know why? Because mom and grandma were like, oh, fuck them, and you know how they bash, you know how, they, you know how, I'm not gonna explain the game, the game don't need to be explained, you know how it goes. And so you hear, you hear years of them bashing their, their, their bitter exes, right or wrong, like, I'm not bashing your moms and all, but, it takes two to tango. But back to my lecture. You hear your mom bashing and she wants to argue, she wants to fuss and fight, everything a woman does. Well now all, all these men are now grown up. And some of these men are my age and I'm in my early 40s. Some of these men are my age and they're doing this. I can tell, it's, there's some that are older than me that are doing this. That's what I can tell. And then, then I hear these guys say, well, a woman can raise a man. A woman cannot raise a man. A woman can raise a boy. 
but to be the to have a, to get the male to have the complete experience of being a man. And a lot of you guys are calling yourself men when you're not. You just you just women with male body parts because it's the way you act. I was like, I'm gonna explain my case in point. When I was little coming up, I have I have, I have four brothers, one deceased, God rest in peace. When we were little, we weren't allowed, to, there's, there's, there was a certain point where we weren't allowed to cry. Like I was never a crybaby to begin with, but it was taught to us, we were not allowed to cry. Now I tried to steal that too, and I was getting called all sorts of names by I mean, I, I tell my son today, I don't want to hear you crying. I don't want to hear this. Then you hear one saying, oh, give him a hold on. Don't don't be mean. I'm like, I'm trying to teach him the real world because in the real world, I showed you, I showed my kids, my nephews, nieces, you guys are the example form of what happens when men grow up wearing skirts. When there's no dominant male role model in your life. And like, and here's the problem, if your dad's around and are not deceased, I know you got uncles or you got someone in your life, there's a dominant male role model that is doing right or isn't isn't falling by the wayside that you could you could take lessons from. But you don't want to, you don't want to, you always want to go back to mom and grandma, because so they always like made it easy for you. And then you want to come battle with other men and come like men like me and other men, and then you want to do the same tactics you do to like it works so long. You're, and and your mom's not here to pick up shit for you. I'm I don't, I'm not calling you out because I don't respect you. And everybody can say whatever they want to say, but it, you can spot a dude like this. They want to want it. They want to make a video, and then they want they want to. Here's here's you know how women will argue with every little point you make. Like when you get into it with them, that's what these dudes do. They want they do if you, if, if anybody get into it with a woman. You know what I'm talking about. Like, if you, if you really fight and bang with a woman, women get vindictive. And at the end of the day, if you really, if you, well, I'm keeping, a, I'm keeping this one thousand. Like, if it really gets to the point, a woman will call the law on you and call it on you for nothing. That's what these dudes are doing on YouTube now. Like I said, I'm, the proof's in the pudding. You guys want to run around with skirts one minute, and the next minute you want to be fucking Ch Charlie Tough Guy. It, it, it don't work. It, Real men don't respect that. I hate to tell you. And then you guys want to, you guys want to say, well, you wear this, you wear that. A couple people in my inbox keep asking, why I wear sunglasses? What, you ever got to hide something? Why don't I wear this? I wear it because I fucking want to wear it. I'm a man. I do what I want to do. See, you guys want to say stuff like, well, you wear it. This one dude sent an email to me. Well, I don't see why you got to wear the sunglasses. You got something to hide? That's how a woman would think. But if you, if you dig deep, all you gotta do is go to my about section on my YouTube. It links to my name. It links to my Twitter. It links to my name. So unlike you bitches that don't understand what I'm talking about, a real man's like, he does his own thing. Like when I see men, they do it, it, to me, I don't get involved unless you're trying to oppress the people. And then you throw over what all these lies. There was, there was, a, sense of, there was a situation about three months ago Three, two, three, four, between two and four months ago, where there's a big name YouTuber, and he was banging with this other dude and whatever. And I, I like I said, I watch YouTube videos from everybody. I mean, I may even throw a comment once more, but I watch these videos. And what happened was, the dude kept making videos, and, and, he, and he was encouraging his other his his supporters, if you would say, because I don't have male fans or. I'm, if I want fans, I want women to be my fans. And men, men are supporters. He had some of his supporters, a lot of them, fucking troll the fuck out of this dude. And that's to the point where I was like, hey, look, man. And then the, the, the point, I, I mean, I was letting that go. I was pissed, but I was like, well, he's a young dude. should be handling himself. But then it got to the point where a lot of his supporters were saying, we're going to shut you down, your, your uh, YouTube, YouTube page, YouTube channel down. And that's when I stepped in, and I was like, hold up now. If you guys want to shut his channel down, then it's going to bring me out. I'm going to do videos left and right on people. But it didn't get to that because I we worked shit out. And, then, and the person knows who I'm talking about. I don't want to divulge names. Like I said, I'm not going to start no controversies because if I say names, this and that, 
when that 50, we're gonna have 50 million people on the sideline trying to do videos, trying to say, well, this was coming to pass, and for years now I've been saying, I don't want that. I don't want no, I don't want no with Dick Ryan all of a sudden, you know. I don't, I don't want no, I don't want, no, I don't want no super hoes teaming up, you know. It ain't the enemy, my enemy is my friend type shit. I mean, this, if, if, if I, you have a problem and you like suppressing the people from having a voice, I'm jumping in. And like I said, and to the person with the emails and all the crying and bitching them on, I wear this. And I wear this because I want to. I'm a grown man. I do what I want to. Go to my Twitter. It says my name on my Twitter, my Facebook. It's people have friended me on Facebook through my fucking YouTube. Go to my Google Plus. All this shit has my name on. I'm not afraid of nothing. I say what I say. And you can see through the glass. I wear this because I'm a stylish motherfucker. If, 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 if you're hating on me. See, a lot of you people are, are confused. A lot of you people are misguided. You cry and whine about the white man, but the same culture that he taught you, you supposedly use them against myself and others. Let me explain. You want to say because we wear a hoodie, because we cuss, because we wear a t-shirt, because we wear earrings, sunglasses, God, whatever, that you know, we got something hot or it's not professional, that's something a third. Who, who, who made that culture? Who made that in our, our culture? It wasn't you guys. It was the Western European domination establishment. I have no problem with that. Either. There. That's it. That's him.